Today marks Brian and Robin Stokes' 63rd Valentine's Day together. They feel that every day they spend together is equally special, even though they won't celebrate as lavishly as they formerly did. When Brian was 16 and Robin was 19, their friends arranged for them to go on a blind date. After three dates, on which Brian proposed, they were married 11 months and 22 days later. Robin claims that they both simply knew it was meant to be. As soon as you meet the right person, you just know, and it lasts for 63 years and counting, she stated. Brian served in the army for a year after being married, and then he spent another year in Vietnam. After he came back, they both worked at different occupations before launching Sweetie's Confectionery. Now, 40 years later, their offspring are still running the wholesale company. With the exception of a five-year period spent at the Royds, Brian and Robin have resided in Penrith, Leone since 1971. Robin feels that learning to love each other's passions is the key to a long-lasting relationship, even after just two disputes in their time together. If you want to be compatible, you have to share, she stated. We've learned to appreciate each other's likes, so we enjoy both cricket and football, Indian and Western music because Brian likes it, and classical music because I do. Brian expressed agreement with this viewpoint and underlined the significance of constant communication. When I was young, I never went to any sort of stage show because it wasn't my thing, but now I really enjoy it because first, you have to, and then over time, you develop a liking for it, he stated. This couple still does virtually everything together because of this. I don't go to bingo because it's not just my thing, but it's the one thing we do separately, Brian stated. You spend months away from home for operations, training, and other related activities in the army in addition to years at a time. As a result, after spending a lot of time away from home, you want to avoid doing it again. Robin acknowledges that, after all this time, they no longer celebrate Valentine's Day. She remarked, we were young ones too. As you get older, you learn to be comfortable with one another and to be happy with your circumstances. It's not necessary for you to purchase roses. Brian reassured them, nevertheless, that their weekly ritual would still take place in the roids. We'll play Trivial Pursuit, it'll be a typical Valentine's, remarked the man. Given how much dating has changed in the last few years, Robin suggests that young people learn from their mistakes by putting down their phones and starting to listen to the people who know them the best. I believe that today's youth find dating more difficult. Young people don't have the same opportunities as they did in the past, therefore I wouldn't want to be in that position, the woman remarked. Strange failures occur everywhere, but friends are, in my opinion, your greatest asset.